Warning, the following video that you're about to watch is owned by one Mikey 19 If this video is uploaded on another YouTube channel, any video, whether it be a small clip or any of my reviews, it will be flagged down by me if I see it without my permission. Thank you. You may now enjoy the show. Hey guys, one Mikey 19 here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the long-awaited animated TV movie known as Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie. Now, before I begin, I just want to say that this movie got made all because of the fans. The fans sent in letters, petitions, and their support to make this movie. Hey Arnold has the most dedicated fan base I've ever seen, and this show deserves it. Now, on to the review. Hey Arnold was a show centering around a kid named Arnold and his adventures with his friends and around the city. But one thing the show never got a chance to do was show us what happened to his parents when they went to South America. After 14 years though, Nickelodeon allowed Craig Bartlett to come back and bring us the conclusion we've been waiting for. When Arnold and his parents are selected to a trip to San Lorenzo, he hopes to find his parents in the country they disappeared in. But they all soon end up getting caught up by the infamous river pirate La Sombra, voiced by Alfred Molina, and their trip takes a turn for the worse. Now, on the run from La Sombra, Arno and his friends must find the mysterious green-eyed people and discover the truth of what happened to Arnold's parents. If you've been a long-time viewer of Hey Arnold, you'll notice nothing has changed much from how the characters are, the jokes, and everything the sh that made the show so charming and wonderful. In fact, it feels like everything was, preser was preserved perfect perfectly and it picks up right where the journal left off. Every running gag from Pookie's Well antics to Brandy getting punched by Helga is in it and there are plenty of callbacks. The voice work is also fantastic. While Mason Vale Cotton's Arnold's voice may seem a bit odd, he's he seems to do a fantastic job catch, capturing the football head we all know and love. The original cast come back to reprise the roles and all sound fantastic as well. They still got it. The story as mentioned before focuses a lot on Arnold finding out what happened to his parents, but also focuses back on the love Helga has for Arnold. I have to admit, I feel the romance subplot is handled way better in this movie than how it was in the theatrical movie. The, in the interactions between Helga and Arnold are handled well here, and it all builds up to the inevitable confession near the end. It also finally gives closure as well to the Gerald and Phoebe romance hints we got on the show with them finally, finally becoming a couple too. I have to also give the movie props for not only man maintaining a lot of the elements from the show, but also managing to get emotional about Arnold's desire to find his long lost parents, to even getting dark at times, especially with La Sombra. The movie manages to hit a lot of emotional high notes and takes a lot of risks with someone's dark moments. Something I really appreciate since a lot of shows these days love to play it safe. La Sombra himself is a fantastic and cunning villain. I got to admit, he's clever in what he does from manipulating Arnold about his parents to even getting most of his crew killed just to get to the treasure and not care at all. He even manages to fight off a poison dart for a while just to try and kill Arnold and his friends. He is a really threatening villain all around. About my only real grips about are that the, the Patakis are still so careless about Helga, although Bob at least remembers her name and that the movie kind of ends a bit abruptly. I was kind of hoping for a scene of Arnold showing his other friends his parents, but it just suddenly stops with them being back home again and everything ends with Arnold and Helga closer and Gerald and Phoebe and cu a couple. Overall, Hey Arnold the Jungle Movie does have some minor flaws but after 14 years of waiting, it was worth. Everything is handled fantastic from the writing, to the characters, to the jokes, 
The story is good with lots of great twists. The villain is awesome. It is a good movie all around and serves as a great series finale for Hey Arnold. I've heard rumors that if the movie does well enough, Nick may ask Craig to revive the show and the crew will be back again to get the show going. If they do so, it should be about the spin-off series, The Patakis. It was supposed to center around Helga's family, but Nick deemed it too dark. If there is no revival though, I won't complain, as this movie perfectly wraps up everything. It took 14 years, but Craig Bartlett and the K. Arnold crew brought us a fantastic movie that wraps up everything and will satisfy everyone. It is a really great movie. Until next time, I'm One Mike in 19, and I'm signing out. Well, here we go. Well, here we go. Oh, no.